Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can set up the email address that will receive emails from uh, when, a, when a user gets registered to your website or sometimes when an error happens in the website and you get notified. So usually this goes as the email for the admin and the host user account. But let's log in first of all to the backend of our site and let's log in as, as the, the super user level. So the first thing is that if your site is brand new, most likely the administrator will be the admin account unless you have created another account. But there is an easy way to find which account is the administrator account of your website. You just log in as admin or host and then you can come to admin. Actually, you should log in as super super user account. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So come to log to admin site settings. And then on site settings, scroll down and go to advanced settings and scroll down, go to other settings. Then under other settings, you're going to see an option that says administrator. This option shows a drop down that you can, you can actually select different admin users to be the administrator of the website. So what, what this is telling me is that the administrator of this port of this site is an account called administrator account. So this is the account that is the admin. And what I can do is I can go to admin user accounts and I can try to find that account. Again, this is just a test site. So there, there are not that many accounts here. So right away, you can see that the administrator account is this account here. Now, what we need to do to make sure that we get notification that the admin account gets notifications about the new registered users or users that are waiting to be approved or users that are unregistering the website or some other events that may happen in the website is that we need to, again, one, identify who's the admin account. We have just done that and we can do that by going to admin site settings. And two, now that we have identified the admin account, we can edit the admin account, we can update the admin account under the email address, we can make it to our own email address here, to your own email address. So when I do that and I click update, now the administrator has a, a, a valid real email account. And again, I'm going to get notifications every time that someone gets registered to the site or get some research from the site. And there are some other modules that do make use of the email address of the administrator of the website as well. So very important is to always have the administrator account with a valid email address. We have just done that. Now, there is another place that I usually uh, suggest people to have a valid email there as well, is the super user account. Because the admin account is the owner of the portal. But if we go one level above that, we're going to go to host and we're going to go to the super user account as well. So under host, we can go to super user accounts and we just have one super user account called hosts. I'm going to update the email address there as well. If I'm the owner and if I, the admin, if I'm the host level user, I can change all of that to the same email. I'm just going to put the same email here as well. So. I have just changed the admin account email, the host account email, because some notifications from a system level, they do go to the email address of the host account, of the super user account. So I'm just going to update this. Now, this was the second place. First, admin. Second, host. And third is one email account under host, host settings. I usually also suggest to, to change this host email address. Again, you may think that this is the host email address that we have just set up, but it's not. It's just one more setting under the host menu, under the host setting. So I would also change this. And I can tell right away one 
place that makes use of this host email address. I have just updated it. I'm going to click update, but still in the same page, which is host, host settings. If I scroll down and if I go to advanced settings, SMTP server settings to test this, if I click test, what will happen here is that the, an email will be sent as a test to the email address specified here under host email. So that's one of the places that I can tell you right away that does use the host mail address is when you're going to test the SMTP settings of your website. If you click test, a test email will be sent to this account. So this is a third place that you should change the email address as well. I'm just going to, again, once again, update this. To finalize, just a quick recap, we have to change the admin level email the host level email and the host settings email as well. If you are the sole owner of this website and you do have host and admin access, I suggest that you keep the same email address on all three different locations. Okay. So basically this is it. This is how you can go about setting up email, the email address correctly in the accounts to be able to get notifications from your .NET Nook website. Thank you very much and bye for now.